Hey, hey guys, Old Man G here, back again with another video for Red, De Red Devil Studio, and today we're going to talk about Alexis Sanchez. Um, but before I get into it, um, really appreciate the continued support. And if you want to support this channel, please like, share, and subscribe to Red Devil Studio. Follow us on Twitter at We Are United X, um, and smash that notification button to get involved and to get the latest. Uh, Man uh, Manchester United related uh, transfer news and that's what we're going to talk about here we're going to talk about Alexi Sanchez um, Alexi Sanchez as you know hasn't been involved to be frank with the Manchester United squad for quite some time um, he's been injured in pre-season and he was uh, and he hasn't been involved in the last couple of games it's no secret that Ole Gunnar Solskjaer um, you know isn't particularly interested I won't say particularly interested I would just say um, I don't think he, he he feels that Alexis Sanchez is part of the plans. Um, and in the in the press conference before the Crystal Palace game, when asked about Alexis Sanchez whether he's going to to leave the club this month, Solskjaer basically says, and I quote: "If an offer that's good enough for the, for the club and him is forthcoming, then that's a possibility." So, you know, the reality is that all the rumors around, you know, Sanchez wants to go, Sanchez wants to leave. There's truth in it. There seems to be an agreement or arrangement of Sanchez needing to leave. The issue is, you know, can the agreement be found? And Inter Milan is obviously right now um, a designated uh, place for Alexi Sanchez. Inter Milan are certainly trying to lure him as they've lured Lukaku already to the San Siro. Now, I can only imagine, I mean, you know, fair play to Antonio Conte. If Antonio Conte was able to poach Lukaku and Alexi Sanchez for Manchester United, that's a steal for the Italian league, and that will certainly that will certainly give them impetus to challenge in Syria, I believe, whilst making us weaker. I would argue. Um, Solskjaer goes on to say um, uh, he's away. He's admitted that Sanchez can move on if it deals with both parties, but if not, there's still plenty of room for him to contribute. So essentially, and I quote: "Alexis is a quality player. We don't have loads of options. If there is an offer that's good enough for the club and him, maybe he will go." But if he, if not, then he's still our player and he's a quality player. This is the thing. So you know, it all it, it comes down to that. If if at the end of the day, um, there's a good enough offer, the club are happy for him to leave. Um, I don't know. The latest rumors show that we're interested in uh, giving a loan offer with Inter Milan. In which case, we would subsidize part of his wages. Inter Milan will take the other. That is an option because I don't think that there is a club that is willing to pay Alexis Sanchez's. Um, wages in force we'd have to do that for a loan and that seems to be the latest can we reach an agreement with Inter Milan for a loan deal for Alexis Sanchez while we subsidize the wages that's probably the, the, the best chance the other argument is now that Auntie Martial is, is has got a bit of a fire injury you know our squad is our squad again we you know what what other options do we have you know if Alexis Sanchez is injured and can't play then we're now looking at Greenwood, Chong, and all the rest, and that's fine. We're now relying on youth to basically come into a team that's already really depleted squad-wise, and this is the beginning of the season, guys. So it's very, very concerning um, that we're relying potentially on academy players as first-team players rather than easing them into the squad because our board have been completely incompetent and in actually signing adequate replacements. When they're wanting to to sell players, it it's it's nonsense. It doesn't make sense, um, and it's something that Manchester United need to to address very very quickly. But let me know what you think, guys. Um, do you still want Alexis Sanchez as a club? Do you feel that we even a, have a choice? Um, to sell Alexis Sanchez. Do you think anyone will be able to will, will come and buy Alexis Sanchez for, you know, um, how much he's worth? I don't know how much he's worth. And it's probably, if I'm honest, Alexis Sanchez is probably worth. Give me stints down to somewhere between forty to fifty million, if that. Um, it's just a question of whether people will, will want to subsidise his wages. I think as because obviously we signed him on the free, um, and China. I don't think the Chinese window is open, so he's not going to go down and, and go to go down to China anyway. Um, that's that's it, guys. Really, there's not much else. Really, again, please like, share, and subscribe to Red Devil Studios, guys. Um, Follow us on Twitter at We United X. Like I said in a previous read, stay tuned. We are streaming a live watch along to the Champions League and Europa League group stage draws. We're doing our Southampton preview on Wednesday, which will be a live stream. So not recorded video, but a live stream. So you preview the game and see if Manchester United will come back against Southampton. And we've got our Red Devil Studios live live stream on Friday or Sunday um, this week. So stay tuned to that. 
Have a nice day, guys, and cheers.